Real quick, let's review what we talked about yesterday. So we're talking about this thing called intercepts. What's an intercept? A crossing of the line. Yeah, so it's where a line crosses another line, and specifically what other line? There's two of them. The X and the, so it's where line crosses the x-axis or the y-axis. There were a few different th ways that we looked at intercepts. One of them, we just looked at a graph of a line and we just figured out where does it cross the y-axis, where does it cross the x-axis, and we went from there. Uh, another thing we did is we told you that the x-intercept was 3, the y-intercept is negative 4, and then we graphed the line. So we went to 3 on the x-axis, negative 4 on the y-axis, and then we drew the line that went through it. Um, so the, the other thing that we did, and we did this in the opener today, and we actually did a couple of them, uh, the beginning uh, examples 1 and 2 yesterday, is we gave you an equation that represents a line. We plugged in um, a certain number for x and a certain number for y, and that gave us the intercepts. What number do we plug in for x and y to get those intercepts? Zero, Zero right? So when we want to determine the intercepts using the equation of a line, there's, it, it's really pretty straightforward. Um, if we want to find the x, I'm sorry, the y-intercept, that means it's going to be on the y-axis. What do we know about the y-intercept? This is something we wrote down yesterday. What do we know about the y-intercept? The y-intercept is going to equal, or I'm sorry, the, one of the coordinates is going to equal what? Zero. zero. Which one's going to be zero? When we're finding the y-intercept, which coordinate is going to be 0? The x-coordinate, right? So when we want to find the y-intercept, what we're going to do is we're going to set x equal to 0. So we're going to start by writing down x equals 0. This is something you'll want to write down at the bottom of your notes. It says determining the intercepts from an equation <coughs> underneath y-intercept. We're going to start by setting x equal to 0. So we're just going to write down x equals 0. And then what are we going to do with that? So once we say x equals 0, what do we do? What do we do with the 0? Where do we put it? We put it in for x. We put it in the equation for x, and then we solve for y. Exactly. So we put 0 in for x. We solve for y. And then that's going to give us an ordered pair. So it's going to be whatever, um, well, 0, because x is 0, comma, whatever the y uh, coordinate is. And we're going to write that as an ordered pair. All right, so for the y-intercept, we set x equal to 0. We solve for y. We write it as an ordered pair, 0, comma, something. So that ordered pair is going to look something like this. I know you have an ordered pair that looks like this written down on the front of your notes, but I want you to write it down here again. Okay, so the y-intercept is always going to be 0, comma, something. And then for the x-intercept, we're going to do all the same things except what's going to change. We're going to set y equal to 0, and then solve for x. Okay, and then once we do that, we're going to have an ordered pair, something comma 0. So we're going to write that ordered pair, and it's going to look like this. So again, this is something we've done already. We did it in a couple of the problems yesterday, first example, second example. <coughs> uh, we also did it in the opener today. Um, but now we're also going to not only write the order pair, but we're also going to graph it. So that's what we're going to do on examples 9 and 10. All right. So example 9, we have the equation negative 4x plus 3y equals 24. So we want to write that up by where it says example 9. Uh, there's not a whole lot of room on your paper for your work, so be sure that you write it up as high as you can. Leave yourself some space. And then underneath that, you're going to have to set up two equations. One of them when x equals 0, one of them when y equals 0. All right, so the first equation, I'm gonna, what I'm going to do, and I would recommend you doing this too, um, draw a line uh, just down the middle for this example. And on one side, we'll do the x-intercept. On the other side, we'll do the y-intercept. So split, split your space for the example in half. And on one side, we're going to, which one do you guys want to do first? X equals 0 or Y equals 0? X. X. Does it really matter which one we do first? No, no it doesn't matter. So we'll start with X equals 0. Um, and for X equals 0, what's the equation going to look like? Negative 4 plus 0 plus 3Y equals 
Okay. And with this equation, what's going to happen? What's going to disappear? The negative 4 times 0 is going to go away, right? So what we really have is 3y equals 24, and I want to solve that. So to set up the solution, um, what do I do first? Nope. What do I do first before I solve the equations? Circle the variable, draw the line of equality. Now, there's only one thing we have to get rid of to get y by itself, which is the 3. So how do I get rid of that 3? Divide by 3 on each side. And when those 3s cancel each other out, we get y equals 8. All right, so we set x equal to 0. We solved for y. Now we want to write the ordered pair. So what's the ordered pair going to be? What comes first? Zero. Zero comes first because x is 0. Y comes second, which is 8. eight. And there's your ordered pair. Let's go ahead and put a box around that. Again, I know I didn't leave much space for you on that note sheet, so you'll have to squeeze it in a little bit. All right, now let's do the same thing for uh, the other one. So we said x equals 0 already. Now we're going to say y equals 0. So this will be finding the x-intercept for us. And we want to plug 0 in for y. So what's the equation going to look like when we put 0 in for y? Negative 4x plus 3 times 0 Okay, so negative 4x plus 3 times 0 equals 24. And what's going to disappear? What's going to go away here? The 3 times 0, right? So this term right here is just going to drop out because it's 0. And we want to solve for x. Since I'm solving for x, I'll circle the x, draw my line of equality. And what do I do to get the x by itself? Divide, Divide by negative 4. Negative 4. So when the negative 4s cancel each other out, that leaves x on the left side, and 24 divided by negative 4 is negative 6. Again, I want to write that as an ordered pair now. So what's going to come first in my ordered pair? Negative 6 is the x value, and 0 is the y value. So we get negative 6, 0, put the parentheses around it, and there's your second intercept. All right, then we're going to move to the graph, and we're going to graph this. Make sure um, it, that we label what? We always want to start by labeling the y-axis and the x-axis, right? So since we're dealing with intercepts, this is especially important because the y-intercept we need to make sure is on the y-axis and the x-intercept on the x-axis. So the y-intercept is the vertical one, the x-intercept is the horizontal one, um, and now we'll plot these points. So where is 0, 8? Oops, up 8. Up 8, okay. So we're going to start at the origin and go up 8. Uh, your coordinate plane looks a little different than mine. So mine is going to be right... Oops. Mine's going to be right here. Yours is going to be at the very top of your coordinate plane because yours only goes up to 8. And then... Uh, where's this point negative 6 going to be? <laughs> We're going to go left 6. And again, your coordinate plane looks a little different than mine. <laughs> Yours is going to be all the way at the edge. Um, mine goes all the way up to 10, though, so I, my point's going to be there. And then once I have those two points, what do I need to do? Draw a line. Make sure it's straight. Make sure it goes to the edges of the grid. And make sure you have arrows on the end of it.